Napier's Art Deco Festival gets bigger and bigger every year. And as its popularity grows, so too does the number of people getting into the spirit by dressing for the occasion. But what exactly does that mean? You see this sort of dress every day there. This is what the man in the street would have worn on his day out, as it were. White baggy trousers, striped blazer, boater, cravat, possibly two-tone shoes, if you've got them, and a few accessories, like it all little badges, uh, and a stick. And if you want to be a little more sophisticated, instead of the boater, you can wear a Panama for that more sophisticated look. All the gentlemen are wearing suits and hats. Everybody oh, yes. wore hats all the time. You could wear a suit. Coat with your white trousers and still have that same effect. Da -da. But the man in the street wore suits. They wore suits all the time. In the evening, this is what you'd be wearing. Any occasion really, except the very most formal things where you'd be wearing an evening dress. So, three-piece suit, a trilby rather than a, rather than a boater uh, in the evening, or, or the, the uh, pa Panama. Uh, not two-tone shoes in the evening, you'd be wearing brogues, like this. The, the opportunity to wear a bit of bling for the gentleman, not often we get that. But then, if you were wearing one during the day, you could certainly wear it with a boater, as a bit of a whimsy, like this. Okay, and even a Panama for that sophisticated look again. Okay, and if you're into this uh, blokey stuff, you can actually take off your coat, be your gangster look. Okay, a tie off of it rather than a cravat. And you can strip down to the braces if you're shy, never do. Gentlemen would never show his braces. But you're not all gentlemen, I know that. Okay, so you can show the braces too. When it comes to dressing for the period, women have the advantage with many more styles to choose from, some more popular than others. So we have a lovely standard day frock. It usually has a little sleeve. Uh, this one's actually sort of more 30s uh, with the belt. It has the lovely little original buckle, some nice little original features, original buttons, about mid, uh, below the knee, it's very appropriate, with a, with a pleat in it. So, and comfortable because it's cotton. Art Deco in February is very warm. So, and to accessorize this, a lovely little hat. Um, they wore felt hats, even though it seems warm. Felt hat was very appropriate, of a shade that matches your dress, and also appropriate shoes, similar toning. And we have a lovely little matching uh, leather handbag. So that would be your lovely day wear look that would take you right up till five o'clock in the afternoon. This is 1930s. Your 1920s was your drop-waisted frock that you would have worn for the day. So yes, there's the 20s, which is the drop-waisted, and the 30s, which was more fitted and tailored and usually with a belt, which was actually very much the Hollywood glam of the time. And an important note on etiquette, sparkly frocks should be saved for the evening only, and bad manners will not be tolerated. They dressed very smart, but also they were very mannerly. They were very polite. Okay, so nice and polite, and you go a long way. Close shaving for the guys too, mm -hmm. five o'clock shadows. Mm -hmm. So they had, even though they were impeccably dressed, they also have impeccable manners. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.